everyone, welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys. I want to talk to you today about Frankie de Jong and I want to talk specifically about the impact of Frankie de Jong on this team because now the international break has finally arrived. We have two weeks of respite from the kind of displays that Barca have been putting in. And by the time we return, this is the big part, Frankie de Jong will be back and available to play in this team. And there's no doubt at all that is absolutely huge news for Xavi and this team. But my question here today is, exactly how big of an impact will Frankie actually have on his return? When you're thinking about this Barca team, who seem to be struggling so badly right now. Because the reason I ask this today, guys, is because we've heard a lot this season about players coming back. You know, oh, when Pedri comes back, we'll be a different team. When Lewandowski comes back, everything will be different. When Araujo and Kunde are there, we'll be much more solid. All of these kinds of things. And each of these players of course, have come back into the team and yet we're still seeing bad performances. We still haven't been able to find the answers. And my question is, can Frankie de Jong be the one to really turn things around? Or will he alone not be enough? Will that not really change things as drastically as we hope? But what I would say is, though, guys, that we've all been very, very clear on this, that since Frankie has gotten injured against Celta midway through that game, we've never looked the same. Now, it may be a coincidence that obviously since that game, our performances have really, really suffered, but I'm not sure that it is, because I think in midfield, that is where we're crying out right now for somebody to take hold of the game, to take control of things, to have a bit of a presence in midfield. We've got great players in there, there's a lot of quality, there's a lot of technical ability, but there's nobody that's quite willing right now to be able to stand up and to be able to absorb some pressure, move with the ball, take on responsibility when we're crying out for it, when we're struggling in a game maybe, somebody to take control and to be honest, I've wanted more of that from Ilkay Gundogan. We haven't quite seen that side of his game since he arrived at Barca so far. And I think we really need De Jong. And I think he will have a big impact. We don't know exactly how big. We don't know exactly whether he'll transform the team. That's a lot of pressure to put on just one player. But that is why, guys, I was just interested today, thinking now about De Jong's return, thinking about how we can improve. Do you think we'll see a big change? Do you think his return could be the key for Chavez? for this Barcelona team. Do let me know that down below. And this is, of course, a topic that we're going to be covering more throughout this break. And we're going to be looking into how Barca can really, really improve. I will see all of you guys then for that good stuff coming your way. Thank you indeed, though, for tuning in here and indeed for your great support. Have a good one today, guys. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.